so this is part two to the first video I made on getting a good record. So hold, hold on. Take a look at their records for me. Look at these kids' records. They all have over 90 win percentages now. Do you want a record like that? Ask yourself. Do you want a record like that? If the answer is yes, then don't worry about it. I'm here to help you out. It all starts right here, right now, with these tips I'm about to give you. So let's get right into it. So I'm be going over offense, defense, and a secret tip at the end that no one really wants to tell you about. But don't worry, I'm here to help you out. I'm here to get you more wins in the park. And you can beat people like this yourself. Yes, you can beat all these elite three tryhards. Don't worry about it. So first thing we're gonna talk about is your jump shot, and you need to have a good, consistent jump shot because you can't be missing wide open out here. Missing open is gonna eventually lead to some losses. So I have something here for everyone. These are bases. And you don't have to use these, but if you're struggling to find a jump shot, you could try one of these out. And yeah, your jump shot is very important because if you're missing, that's you. Don't blame the game. Don't say 2K's bullshit, this and that. If you're missing, that's you. Because I don't miss wide open. Well, I can't say I don't miss wide open. But if I miss, that's, that's because of me. It's not 2K. That's all me. So find yourself a jump shot. Get it down packed. And let's get going. So the next step I have for you is your lineups. And you see we playing here a play sharp, a stretch big, and a glass cleaner. All these builds complement each other. If you see the play sharp, he's the shooter, the stretch big can shoot, and the glass cleaner gets boards and sets some screens. So you gotta come out here with the right lineup, lineups that are gonna work for you. You don't wanna come out here with three slashers because now you're one dimensional. They know you're gonna dunk the ball if you come out here with three slashers. So you wanna have builds around you that are gonna complement your style, how you play. So if you want to use a slasher, make sure you have people around you that can shoot the ball at least. You get what I'm saying? Just simple stuff like that. So find the right lineup you want to run with. And yeah. All right. So next thing we're going to go over is screens and using your L2 button efficiently. Because screens is probably the easiest way to score in this game. Like running a pick and roll. It's probably the most efficient way to score besides setting all balls to a stretch big. But that's gay we don't like to do that so i'm gonna show you guys how i use screens and also how to use your l2 button because it's very important this year especially when you're going up against locks or people who like to reach on you so i'm gonna show you guys here in a couple clips how i use screens and first i'll just show you the basic way how to use it so my man's on the left side he's gonna set the screen so i'm gonna run to the right side his man doesn't pick up so easy shot if his man does pick up you have to pass it down to the big man when he's cutting so he can get the easy dunk. And look at this clip here though. I'm going to act like I'm going to the left and I go back to the right. See, sometimes you can't be too predictable. You got to work around the screen. You got to fake him out sometimes. So look here. I'm going to go to the right and then I'm going to fake him back to the left. It's easy buckets, you see? So just try not to be too predictable with how you're doing things. Fake him out, zigzag behind the screen. Don't let them know where you're gonna go. And that's really how I use screens. But another important thing while you're doing this is holding L2. See, a lot of people like to reach. So if you hold L2, it's actually harder for them to rip the ball. You can still get ripped in, R in L2, but there's a certain way to do it so that you don't get ripped and you can keep the ball from the defender. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how I work lockdowns. You see, this one is his bad on, so we know what he's gonna do spam square but i'm gonna hit l2 so he can't get it you see that he reached but couldn't get it just because i was an l2 facing the ball away from him so now i'm gonna have them set the double screen and force someone else to pick up you see the life i'm trying to run to me but he couldn't because my team would have been left wide open on that so you just gotta know how to get them off you so you can just do what you usually do you see i'm gonna do it here again lock down the zombies they're gonna set the double screen and force the guard to pick up and then it's just right back to work but you don't have to set a double screen every time just by holding l2 and running around them you can work them without a double screen but this is a good lie down they know what they're doing so he would have just got right through it so we're just gonna force them to switch and then right back to work like i said so yeah hold l2 while you got lockdowns on you zigzag run around just make sure you're not dribbling in the lockdown space because that's just easy turnovers but the next thing we're going to talk about is switching and i put this in my last video but we got to talk about it again because that's 
I can't express how important it is to switch. So I actually like to run a little zone on the threes, and it's a 2-1. So the two guards up top playing side, and the big man gets the middle, or he could just hedge. But as you can see, I'm going to stay on my side. The other guard gets the other side. And the big man stays in the center, just to paint, just watch the drop. But this is a very efficient way to play defense. And you see, they try to run this little cross here. He's trying to go to the guy in the red, but he can't because I'm there. So with this defense, you actually stop a lot of crosses. And it's a very efficient way to play defense. It gets you a lot of stops. You see, they just, they can't get open against us because they have nowhere to go. I mean, we're running three locks, but here it is again, just play size two guards big man in the middle and this is like i said man this is really hard to get open against this clamp a lot of people up with it and we're running three locks but i run the zone when i'm on my guard because it's just easy way to play defense i don't have to worry about the stretch big crossing with me getting stuck on screens so i suggest you guys try this on now if you're struggling to play defense <clears throat> but yeah look good defense leads to good offense so work on your defense get it down packed but the next thing I wanted to talk about was reaching or getting in the passing lanes. And I talked about this in my last video, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But basically all it is is just knowing when to reach and getting in the passing lanes. He tries to give it to my man. I know it's coming to him. So I'm going to just hit square and intercept the passing. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Like I said, it's pretty common. I talked about it in my last video. But just make sure you guys are reaching when... The ball is coming your way. Don't just stand there and let me get the ball. But the next thing I was going to talk about is how to guard screens or how I guard screens. And I can pretty much use in this gameplay right here. You see, and I have to lock down on the stretch big in a corner because stretch big is shut over me. So it's up to me to stop this guard right here. I have no lockdown on, on him. So it's all up to me to get the stop. So as you can see here. We're just playing ahead. That's that's what we're doing here. We're gonna have me stay with the guard the whole time, and the big man just gonna say, "Look, he's gonna drop down to him after I get back." And I'm not ever switching with the big man unless I have to switch. Then we're gonna switch. But besides that, man, what I mean by hedge is basically my center is not gonna fully pick up, but he's gonna act like he's gonna pick up. As you can see, he's been doing it the whole game. He's because the thing with hedging is. We know the glass cleaner is not going to shoot, right? So, as long as he's setting screens like he is right here, we know we can help out on the guard as much as possible because the glass is not doing shit. We don't care about the glass cleaner getting hot. We don't want the guards to get hot. We don't want the shooters to get hot. So, our main goal while doing this is just to stop the guard from getting hot or the stretch big, whoever it is you're putting. But don't worry about the center scoring. It's a team game. As long as you win, that's all that matters, right? So, Focus on getting those one or two stops early. Try not to let the guards or the center or the stretch big score on me. And that's going to lead you way more wins. I promise you that. But the last thing I want to talk about is the secret tip. And this is... I didn't really want to tell you guys this, but I think I'm going to have to. Just come down to this. And it's basically just stop running from people, bro. Like, honestly, you little bitch. Like, do you... What is wrong with you? You paid sixty dollars for a game, and you're gonna run from people? Like who does that? And I'm not even saying this to talk shit. Like this is actually. Do you think these elite threes are all good? These elite threes are literally just running away from other people, just like you, and getting to elite three. They're not playing good people all day. They're playing other bums, and they're getting their shit up. So don't be scared of these elite threes. Don't think they're superior to you just because they're elite three or high overall. It doesn't matter, bro. I promise you. I, most of my losses are to amateurs and pros. Elites put no fear in my heart, bro. And just think about it. You, we've seen everything in the game. We know what a stretch big is going to do. We know what a glass skinner is going to do. So all you have to do now is just adjust to it. We know the stretch big is going to shoot. So what do you do? Contest it. We know the glass cleaner is going to get the board. So just box him out. It's all about just adjusting to the game, man. Figuring out how people play. That's all you got to do now. We're all these months into the game now. There's no reason for you to be hopping up courts and running from people. You've seen everything in this game already. Now all you got to do is adjust to it and start winning more games. I already gave you guys all the tips you needed, all the recipes, everything. Everything is all right here. Now it's just all up to you to go put the work in. 
but this game is almost coming down to the end right here. Actually, it is at the end. 21 points on their head, 8 for 9. You see, this shit works, yeah. I'm telling you, these are all tryhards. Like, look, did you see their records? Better than me, but catch you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe.